Hello everyone and welcome to the Game 4 Access Collegiate Invitational with ES Gaming powered by Easter Seals. Transition the other way gives Dal Galu dead a chance instead. And I think you nailed it there with that pace. Ooh. There's another opportunity for Lion Blaze. The ground game, the 1v1 experience showing. He's going to get that flick just to the back side. The defender diving forward trying to uh, protect that near post. But Lion Blaze spots it, goes wide. You know, they're probably going to put one in with four minutes left to play. Oh, Punisher trying to put oh. one in of their own. Uh, excuse me, Lion Blaze and Northwood definitely have their work cut out for them. But Lion Blaze is going to put one in straight away. Well, Lion Blaze said, eh, you guys aren't going to keep a huge lead on us for long. And again, not surprising to see the aerial mechanics being displayed here. A quick one, two to get them back into the game and get anything started there for offense. Lion Blaze, a little bit of boost in the tank. He's up to the backboard. Ooh. We know he nails these doubles and he does it there. Lion Blaze will put in a second. Yeah, Lion Blaze is saying, all right, if the rest of the team can't score, I'll do it myself. His second unassisted goal in a row. And these are the mechanics we were talking about before. Might not be the flip reset, which I uh, failed to describe earlier today, but a double touch is a little bit easier to describe as it is. They're not going to be stopped by an internet issue. Lion Blaze, <laughs> another one! And they have done it. They have tied this up, Bass. And this is the flip reset I was talking about. When you go to the air like this, you're not supposed to be able to flip again. But when you land all four wheels on the ball, well, that's exactly what happens. Uses that flip at the perfect time. Tucks it into the corner so delicately. Start things off with a booming clear and a full tank of boost. He's going to pursue this down the field, see what he can get started through the corner. A 50-50 oh. and a double commit. Lion Blaze has done all the work. Tibbles just needs to tap it in. Northwood. They're doing a good job at containing most of these plays. But as soon as I say that, a single miss on defense and Lion Blaze finally punishes like we said he would. Tibbles with a pass across. Lion Blaze unable to make contact. Tibbles there for the pickup. Now they got to hustle back. Punisher with a wide Ooh. open net. And this is why we said it. You don't want to extend too far up the field and leave that backside exposed. Punisher, he will punish. And instead, it's actually led them into the defensive stance of their own. There's the shot. Punisher takes Ooh. it and sinks it. Galladad, quick flip of the script here. And they're up 2-1. Critical save there from Punisher on the hustle back. They've got 19 seconds to hold. Lion Blaze cut past one. The low 50 <laughs> and Lion Blaze will force it in. Once again, the 1v1 skills coming to fruition. So if you're going to have that, you're going to play defensive, which might give Lion Blaze ah! and Tibbles a chance to score. 3-3 with two to go. That is what we call ice, Bass. Beautiful stuff from Tibbles. And you know that that is a comp, Tibbles. An awkward situation, but he will get it to the corner. Lion Blaze secures that corner boost as well. But they drop it central and Punisher. 133 in overtime. They get their first W of the series. Why did the offense hesitate because of it? Well, we learned why. He got physically removed from the net, just like Lion Blaze is oh physically my. removing any potential oh. of a stoppage here. This is disgusting. Competitive Rock League everywhere in between. The one thing that Lion Blaze has not been is inconsistent. Unfortunately, the shooting for Galadet, a little mm. bit inconsistent. As multiple shots go on, none of them in. One more chance, and there's uh. no contact found. And those are, Bass, you know, those are tough when you've got a teammate that is moving forward and, and you expect them to make that touch for you to stay focused. It's probably what they're going to do here, and already we're seeing evidence of that. Tibbles rushing into offense as aggressively as possible, but maybe should have been there for the rebound. All three players on defense hesitate. No one goes for the ball, but it's okay. Lion Blaze will get Ooh. denied. Never mind. More on the line defense. And they are pouring on the pressure, but Gallaudet up to the challenge. And now Punisher, the all-star for the squad. He's going to force it through. The rich kid will actually get credit for it. Two-goal lead mounted for Gallaudet. And the further we get into this, the scarier it gets for Northwood. Having... Uh, scattered success, I would say, has found himself a home with TSM. But that third player may not be enough, Bass. Gallaudet and the All-Star Punisher are going to strike first here in Game 5. You are setting the precedent that you can be beaten. It's 1-0. It's only 40 seconds gone. But very rarely do we see series oh! start off like this. And the response from Northwood is being silenced every time. Also a bit errant, Hockey. A third attempt, and that's blocked by Gallaudet as well. Another pass across, and this time Northwood will knock it home. 3.34 on the clock, and we're tied up. Well, Northwood are happy to see that because they just keep doing this. These aerial plays oh. and these passing plays oh. that are executed to perfection. 
Unfortunately for Gallaudet, they'd at least like to be able to try this themselves. Although, try as much as you want. I don't know if you can do it as clean as hockey. That was so beautiful. You could see it lining up. The dying embers of the game will eventually extinguish Northwood. Although, I can't say I'm surprised to come out on top. But Hootie, what a first round of the tournament. This one was full of its ups and downs. And although Northwood end up on the up, this was very exciting. Absolutely, and we got to give a shout to Gallaudet. They played competitive. Obviously, oh, yeah. this is a little bit of a wonky series. Uh, we're going to head over to the bracket and take a look how all of round one unfolded. I'm thinking that uh, all the matchups are about to get not only more intense, but a lot harder to predict. Round two mm. is where we start to see some of the heavyweights of CRL, the Collegiate Rocket League, face each other, including the matchup that we've got ahead of us in Boise State versus Maryville University. Disgusting on offense. He is a threat no matter where he is on the pitch. Dirt, though, similar idea. Ooh. Flip reset! Almost proven exactly why this Boise team is so talented. Misread the trajectory of the clear, and now... Woozy will dunk that into the orange in and put in a second goal, and that's going to lock it up. Boise State will take game one in the series. Not only the facility where they've got multiple setups for any of the players to play on, they've also got a land stage, oh my goodness, <laughs> where the team competes in every tournament. And apparently he gives them some coordination buff, because what a passing play. Wow, Dirt, though, what a touch, and that's it right there, Bass. That is the perfect example of the selflessness this is just how good this team has been throughout the season again another thing to talk about you know we said oh runners up to the crl championship yeah uh -oh. runner up is great so is that double touch i'll go back to complimenting boise in a second i gotta give maryville or maryville their props this is disgusting and see the thing is adam that's a great and it I actually kind of the, works out the as patience this. too bass as they get that offense set up oh no oh, oh no I mean, what a slot from Adam. That is the perfect shot to the top right corner. This is a beautiful shot. I just didn't think that it would ever make its way in. And honestly, oh I don't think Preston did either. Two minutes to go. They're launching up even more offenses here. But Boise so far, unsuccessful in many of their attempts. They need to get something going. Ooh. And to stop Knight. This dude is on oh. fire. I'm just going to sit and watch this one, Bass. I mean, that is beautiful for this. Wowza. Find out. Four and a half minutes to go. Boise already getting so Ooh. started. Dirtho prop to you. Doesn't even believe that's in. He reads that bounce off the backboard before it even hits the ground. Look at that rip from Preston, too. That pass across from Dirtho is very nice. And there's that team. Can they ride that wave of momentum? Woo uh, excuse me, Preston. Off to Woozy. Woozy to the backboard. And he has the <laughs> double. What a narrow angle to work with. But Woozy can slam it home. Narrow angle? I don't think there was an angle. I think this was <laughs> negative, basically. How on Ooh. earth, Woozy? That might have been one of the best double touches I have ever seen in Rocket League, let alone collegiate. Safely away from the oncoming attack from Boise and a shot from Buddy. Oh. A secondary touch as well. Whether it's intentional or not, it was nice. And you really get the feeling that they've got to put this in right now on this press or it's probably not going to... Uh, happen and they do buddy with a zero angle redirect i mean he snuck in this play from behind the defenders look at him he's in the net right now adam puts it towards the target buddy that is a fantastic shot and while he's close to the target bass you know that is a difficult shot to execute it's all on the line knight up quick does have the reset but so is woozy up quick uh-oh adam in a good position press and being bumped and adam with the flip reset 12 seconds in Maryville secure the victory in game five overtime. You can tell off that dive up front, the midfield, which has been so locked tight, a single miss. And all of a sudden, that lock bursts wide open. Maryville in a 2v1 the other way. The lead blocker clears the lane. And they find themselves a bid into the semifinals. He's preparing for the worst case scenario. Good example is on the back end. Knight waited for the 50 to bounce out and then eventually dove when he saw an oncoming attacker. The issue is, is that when it doesn't work out, that's an opening. First miss we see in the first goal that is scored. Play against, but against the Boise that, as we mentioned before, the fastest teams in the league, you'd have to imagine they'd be a bit more prepared. Stay on the ball. It's 50 50s a plenty on either side. No one doing all too much with them until the hesitation. Maryville, let this one linger in front of their nets when they definitely shouldn't have. Look at that from Kinsey. That first touch is magnificent. Getting that reset. I'm not even like disappointed. I'm not even angry. I'm just sitting here going, oh no, that's got a sting, and so should that. 
as now both teams have missed wide opportunities on either end. With 70 seconds to go, I have a feeling the next goal we do Ooh. see Ooh. could be the decider. And Fisher, their demo chasing on offense, finally pays off. Kinsey will collect. Flicks past one, but Knight will collect. Drop from Buddy Ooh. to Knight. The shot is wide, but Adam's there for the finish. A 1-2-3 play, and Maryville looked like they took a note in the last series. Halfway point. It's Maryville. Just need to let this hit the ground, and they will have the game. Fisher, determined to see otherwise. Pass out! Oh! Shot in! And Fisher, send us to an overtime! Whoa, Kinsey, the patience. Look at this. He timed this to perfection. He cannot let that hit the ground, and neither can Sosa. He slots it just out of reach of Knight, and at zero seconds, we get some magic. Can Fisher complete the sweep? Let's head to overtime. That's lofting central. Adam with a shot. <gasps> Knight off the crossbar. Once again, the woodwork causing problems, but Adam with a quick rebound, a quick turn, and he'll put in a goal for Maryville. They're not done yet. I cannot explain to you how happy I am that they won this game. Defense on both sides have been so prepared for any opportunity. It just doesn't feel like space is being given. Even here, it might not be enough. Just barely it is. The clock's going to do the heavy lifting for them. This could be an opportunity. Adam off the sidewall. But he is up very quickly. And he slams <laughs> a shot to the far side. Beautiful execution from Varyville. And there's that creativity I want to see on offense. Adam lurking up the field after a missed challenge. Instead of trying to do something himself, he slams it off that sidewall, and Buddy will knock it home. Nice opportunity here. He puts a double towards the backboard, but a clear from Fisher will send it out into the mid. <gasps> oh, no. And oh, that'll do like it. Not like this, Baz. Not like this. After all this quality gameplay the whole time, this is how we finish it up. Just a, uh, I mean, just a basic aerial touch from Sosa, and no one from Maryville is back. One more match to go. Grand Finals up next. We have Harrisburg taking on Fisher. Will intercept. But they do seem to continue the press, and that is not the greatest clear from Kinsey. Next is going to step up and easily tap that in. Still in those gaps, they will pre-jump almost every touch. Good example. Ooh. I knew Ooh. Next was going to be oh. there. I didn't necessarily expect him to miss the shot. It would have ricocheted all the way uh -oh. downfield into a goal. Instead, Sosa looking to equalize. Shot oh. off target. The rebound. Is it exactly there? It'll stay up, but somebody needs to take a shot. Sosa tries. Tikro deflects. Kinsey cannot keep it up. Wow. Harrisburg will take game one. Dilute the offensive press here, but Kinsey does a great job to hold on to possession. And that's all they needed. Hold for a moment. Let that final player respawn in. And once they got all three involved... They put that second goal in. A great play for Money to get a second touch as he drops it to Sosa. Would have been pre-jumping that one two ways to Sunday in the last game. This one, realizing they have to play a bit more patient. Oh. If they keep on jumping at everything, oh. it may not work oh. out, but that will. Tikarel, flip reset into the bump. This is filth. Woo, I love these kinds of plays. Letting the ball just slowly roll into the target. Tikarel threatening once again. Next up early, and he's found the top left shelf. Harrisburg, tie things up. He's working down the sideline. He's got it around one. He's got no boost, but he slings it. Oh, my word. I thought it was in. Only turn into much, and 1v1 versus T. Carell. I do not envy you, Money, and that's the reason why. Oh, no. He's going to say he actually just buys time for his teammates to get in position. The issue is, if your teammates don't do their job, it doesn't matter. Ah. Uh. That's a big miss there from Kinsey. It's an awkward angle sailing through the sky. Had no intention of uh, pursuing the ball, but instead just wanted to pursue the play. Oh. There's another bump inside the box, and Sosa will capitalize this time. Fisher strike first in game three. Fisher strike first after two minutes of offense, and it's an accidental shot. I was going to say boost in time, but not enough time as quickly. Sosa collapses on him, and next decides, all right, cool. Don't give me the dribble out of my own half. Let me just pre-jump this one instead. Again, I don't know what it is about this Herringberg team, but they try as they might. Still can't stop the counterattacks. What a great pass for money. And you don't come to the play, right? You sit there and you wait on the ball to come to you. <gasps> Sosa did not do that. He pursued the play, stepped forward, and slammed that shot off the near post. Try and turn this around later in the series. Hold on now. Oh. Take a oh. Keep the speed up. Keep the uncomfortability up. I want to see those pre-jumps. When it worked, it worked beautifully. Um, 
Oh! Yeah. That, that, that isn't exactly working beautifully for Harrisburg. Look at this! Money off the ceiling. An air dribble demo. Not an air dribble bump. Looks to go around the goalkeepers. Final 10 seconds. Kensei's shot is on, and that's going to secure game number four. Unless we have some absolute shenanigans here to follow. Harrisburg down by two with seven seconds left. 0-0 zero, zero as well. Both teams, they don't want to be that first to concede. They know that it's so difficult. <gasps> oh, no! Pass! Not like this! A pinch central from Money. And you've got a defender who has walked just a hair off the goal line. And Nex ends up own goaling for the first goal of game five. The clear over Nex. T. Carell will be dispossessed by Kensei. And all Fisher need to do is knock this to the ground. Sosa does it. Fisher complete the reverse sweep. And they are your game for access. Collegiate Invitational Champions.